What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we're checking out iOS 11.3 Beta 3. Apple released this to developers earlier today at the time of recording this video, and it weighed in at a pretty hefty 360 plus megabytes on my iPhone 10. I was expecting to see a lot of changes, but as it turns out, that was actually not the case. I've been using iOS 11.3 for a couple of hours now, and I have not been able to find any new changes aside for one in the Messages app. In iOS 11.3 Beta 2, when you went to delete a Messages thread inside of the Messages app, you would get a placeholder pop-up at the very bottom of your screen. In iOS 11.3 Beta 3, that is now an actual pop-up. It's no longer a placeholder, and it says, would you like to delete this conversation? This conversation will be deleted from all of your iOS devices. And it seems a little bit repetitive, but it's nice that you get this pop-up repeatedly, because now that messages are stored in iCloud across all of your devices, you would never want to delete a thread from your phone and then think it would still be on your laptop with important messages or attachments and inadvertently delete it from all of your devices. So that pop-up has been added correctly in iOS 11.3 beta 3, but so far that is the only change that I've been able to find. Actually, as I was getting ready to upload this video, I saw an article by iDownload blog, and it looks like the AirPlay 2 features inside of iOS 11.3 and tvOS 11.3 have been removed, which is weird because they were just added in iOS 11.3 beta 1. They were going to be a big new feature. They allowed you to group rooms and play the same song in the same room or different music in different rooms, very similar to Sonos-like functionality. It was going to be pretty neat. It would allow you to control your HomePods in a new way, and it was a promised feature for the HomePods, and uh, it's been removed now, so we don't know when or if that will be added back into iOS 11.3 in the future. I hope that they're added back in the future, but now we don't really know. I want to talk about battery and performance in iOS 11.3. I haven't touched on this really at all yet. I ran a Geekbench test on iOS 11.3, beta 3 specifically, and I got a really low score, one of my lowest scores on my iPhone 10 since I've started using it in November when it was released. 4,205 on the single core score and 9,935 on the multi-core score. So very low. For comparison, on iOS 11.2.5, I was getting 4,237 and 10,452, so almost 500 points slow lower than the iOS 11.2.5 release on iOS 11.3 beta 3. But right now we're only on iOS 11.3 beta 3. This is not the final release version, so nothing to worry about just yet. And then battery life has been roughly the same for me on iOS 11.3 so far as it has been on iOS 11.2. And iOS 11 in general, I've been running iOS 11 on an iPhone 10, so it's got a good battery inside of it anyway. But uh, comparing it to iOS 11.2, iOS 11.3 has roughly the same battery life as iOS 11. 11.2. Not really noticeably higher, not really noticeably lower, just about the same as before. Now, as always, I want to hear your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Were you hoping to see more features? Are you really happy with iOS 11.3? What do you think about the new Animojis, the new battery health features? Was this the update you were waiting for? Were you wanting to see something different? We've already gotten information about iOS 12, what we're expecting to see there. Information on iOS 13. There's been a lot of news happening lately with iOS, so in case you missed some of those videos, I will definitely link them up in the top right hand corner of the screen. If any more changes are discovered after I upload this video, I'll be sure to link a blog post down below, so make sure to check that out. And if you want to get my wallpaper, a link for that is down below as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you drop a like, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iAppDataOS.com slash merch, use code BETA for 10% off of your order, that would be incredible. T-shirts, hoodies, pulvers, you can check it all out there. And for now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.